In this video, I'm testing out the Asta Essentials range of the white frozen fish, frozen veg and the curry sauce. Miss Honey left a comment and she says, please let us know what you think of the quality when you can, especially the frozen fish and jars of curry. So I decided to make a fish curry. So I'm going to show you step by step how I made it and the total cost of these two dishes for two people was £1.78. So this is the contents of the bag of the 520 grams of white fish in the essentials range by Asda and it's not looking too bad. So the bag of fish cost £2.50 and the amount that I used I've estimated a high estimate of a pound in money. So this is how much water was in the fish. There's always water in frozen fish, so I'm not concerned about that. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be using the mixed vegetables, just essentials by Asda mixed vegetables to give those a try. And the mild curry sauce and the Just Essentials white frozen fish. So first step is I'm going to use some of my homemade ghee. Um, homemade ghee is really good for frying. Um, when you churn butter into ghee, it takes out all the, the sugars and the proteins and it's got a much higher smoke point than butter. So whereas butter is like maximum like 350 burn point or smoke point, this has got about a 450 degree smoke point. So it's a really good thing to use for frying. Um, it's good for a lot of things actually, but frying is one of the things where it, it really does come into its own because it's very unlikely that it's ever going to burn. So into there we're going to put this chopped up onion, just one onion, just small diced and put that into there and let that soften. And while that's cooking I'm just going to cut up the fish into chunky bits. So I've cut the fish into quite large chunks because I don't want the fish breaking down and just breaking into little bits. So I've left it quite chunky, but so far this fish is looking pretty good. So next step is to put some of these mixed veg in. So I don't think those mixed veg look too bad. There's a mixture of little bits of broccoli, not a lot of broccoli, tiny little bits of broccoli, plenty of carrots, because that's the cheaper veg, obviously, um, cauliflower and peas. That's not looking too bad, I think. So still plenty of that veg left, because that's a kilo, so I only used a very small amount. So I'm just going to turn the heat up a little bit and then I'm going to put this jar of the mild curry sauce in. So it's got sultanas in there. Quite nice. It smells good, as most curry smells good. So I'll give that a little stirring and then I'm going to let that come up to a simmer. And make sure all the veg is coated. I'm not going to put the fish in yet because the fish doesn't take long to cook. Now if I was doing a chicken curry, I would have browned the chicken off first in the ghee and let that cook through with this the veg, but it doesn't take long to cook fish. So 
So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to put a little bit of milk in there just to make sure I get all the bits and pieces out and off the lid. So a little bit of milk. Just because I don't want to waste any of the sauce. Give it a good shake. So I'm just going to put the lid on that, just to keep all the, the heat in, keep the steam in, it will cook that veg a lot quicker. And what I love about this is I can use these jars. Um, now I do pickles and preserves and that sort of thing. This is a curry one, so um, it will have to have curry type stuff in it. If I'm using uh, an empty pickle jar, it will have pickled stuff in it. So I don't want to cross contaminate flavours, but I will use all these jars. So while that's simmering, simmering away, I'm going to do my get my rice on. And I'm using Tesco Basmati rice, which I just keep in these sealable tubs. Now, I always do my rice the same way. It's a very easy, foolproof way to do rice. And the way I do that is I do two mugs of water to one mug of rice. Now, it doesn't matter what you use, you can use um, anything you like, any vessel. It's just two parts water to one part rice. So we're going to put one cup of rice. And this will be more than enough for Neil and I for, for a meal. But I'm doing extra because I'm going to do um, some egg fried rice with it tomorrow. So... One mug of rice in the pan and then two of water. And I do like to put a little bit of salt in it. I'm using this sea salt, but you can use any salt you like. And I just put a good pinch of salt in it. Now all we're going to do with that is to put it on the heat just give it a little stir and then turn the heat on and bring that up to a hard boil now I won't be taking the lid off this again so once it comes up to a hard boil I'm going to let it boil like that without taking the lid off for nine minutes and then that will have perfect rice check on this give it a little stir that's looking good that's looking and smelling lovely so the rice is now boiling away and um, it's come up to its boil so now I know I've got nine minutes to go. So I'm going to put my fish in now. Now you do have to keep your eye on the rice, make sure it doesn't boil over because I let it, I, let, I do leave it on high for nine minutes. So just make sure it doesn't boil over but other than that just leave it alone, it's absolutely fine. Don't need to stir it, don't take the lid off, just leave it exactly as it is and it'll be absolutely fine. So chicken goes up, uh, chicken, <laughs> fish goes in, just coat it all in that lovely sauce. That is looking really nice. Put the lid back on that. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. I'll let it come back up to its simmer and then I'll turn it down a bit. Let me just show you the rice, how it's boiling away. 
So that really is boiling up. The lid is on. I'm not going to take it off. It has got a little vent. Might just turn that down a little bit. It's on nine. That's on full power. So I'm just going to turn that down to seven. I don't want it to come off the boil. I'll turn it down to seven. just so it doesn't all boil out. I just wanted to show you how the rice is doing. It's still got some water in it because you can see it bubbling through the little holes that the, uh, the big bubbles have made. So it's still steaming away and it's got two minutes left to go. So set the timer for it, don't try and guess it because uh, if you just put it on and leave it, just make sure it doesn't boil over. That's all you need to do. I've got it on six at the moment. So I've just turned it down a wee bit more. The curry is doing really lovely. It looks really good. So by the time the rice is done, that will all be ready. So that's the time I've gone off for the rice. I'm going to turn the heat off. And take it off the heat. Now I just wanted to show you how lovely this is and how it just cooks it perfectly. It's used up all the water. It's not clogged together. I'll just get a fork and show you how perfect the rice is. It cooks it perfectly every time. So, one part rice, two parts water. Doesn't matter if it's hot or cold water. Just bring it up to a boil with the lid on. And then once it's up to a boil, set the timer for nine minutes. Now, you might want to experiment and see, because um, your taste might be different to ours. So you can see how it uh, how it is with yours you might want to do it for eight minutes or ten minutes but for me that is absolutely perfect and now I can turn off turn off the curry and dish it up and that is looking really good so I just wanted to show you how the the fish looks and that looks pretty good. It's cooked beautifully. It's not tough. And that tastes really good. So that's the curry all finished. And it looks fantastic it looks really good the fish has held up really nicely so that was the fish for, that was 520 gram frozen white fish and that was two pound fifty for the, the whole bag um, the frozen veg was the 72p for a kilo and I've used a tiny little bit of it there's still loads left and the curry sauce was 28 pence I would say that the curry needs a little bit of salt, but other than that, I will add salt to it. But other than that, I just wanted to do it as it was and test it as it was. Just a little bit of salt in the, in the curry and it will be spot on. So I can recommend the white fish, the curry sauce and the mixed veg from the Asda Essentials range. Very impressed with that. And then also in there was one onion um, and I that was from the Lidl's, one of the boxes of the two good to go, £1.50 boxes and use one of the onions out of there. Uh, there's plenty of rice left, nice fluffy rice. So cool the rice down as quick as possible and get it in the fridge as soon as it's cold. But look how nice and fluffy that rice is. Just lovely. So I better to go and get this served up to Neil before it goes cold. 
So it's had its taste test now and Neil absolutely loved it, as did I. So the first test of the Asta Essential range was a complete success. I do hope you found that helpful. If you did, please press the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Stay safe, look after each other and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.